Welcome to Good Night Tales. The Rabbit and His Lost Carrot Once upon a time, in a vibrant meadow bordered by whispering trees and colorful wildflowers, lived a small, curious rabbit named Benny. Benny had a soft brown coat, twinkling eyes, and an insatiable love for carrots. He tended his garden diligently, and among the rows of orange delight, one carrot stood out. This carrot was the biggest, brightest, and crunchiest Benny had ever seen. He called it Goldie because of its radiant, golden orange hue. Benny nurtured Goldie with extra care, hoping to present it at the upcoming annual meadow fair, where the best vegetables were awarded shiny ribbons. In the meadow, there lived another rabbit named Sonny. The rabbit was also planning to contest in the annual meadow fair. But, it was too lazy to take good care of his garden. And therefore, his carrots were small and thin. Sonny heard everyone in the community mentioning about Goldie and how Benny was sure to win. He was filled with jealousy and could not bear the thought of him losing. Therefore, on the morning of the fair, he woke up early and plucked Goldie and tossed it away before anyone can notice it. On the morning of the fair, Benny hopped to his garden, eager to pluck Goldie and showcase his prized carrot. But to his dismay, Goldie was gone. Benny's heart raced as he searched frantically around the garden, overturning leaves and burrowing into the soft earth. There was no trace of Goldie. Determined to find his lost carrot, Benny decided to seek help from his forest friends. First, Benny visited Lily the ladybug, who was sipping nectar from a daisy. Lily! Have you seen my carrot? It's the biggest one in my garden, and now it's gone! Lily flitted her wings thoughtfully. I haven't seen it, Benny, but I noticed something orange rolling towards the apple tree early this morning. Maybe you should check there. Thanking Lily, Benny scampered to the apple tree. He searched around the trunk and among the fallen leaves, but found no carrot. Suddenly, he heard a rustling above and looked up to see Squeaky the squirrel. Squeaky, have you seen my carrot? Benny called out. Squeaky chattered down from a high branch. I saw a plump carrot rolling down the hill towards the stream. It looked like it was heading for the bridge. With renewed hope, Benny hurried down the hill and followed the stream to the bridge. As he approached, he saw Fluffy the fox peering curiously into the water. Fluffy, did you see my carrot? It's very special, and I need it for the fair. Benny asked, trying to keep the worry out of his voice. Fluffy nodded. I saw a carrot drifting downstream earlier. It might have gotten caught in the reeds near the bend. Benny thanked Fluffy and raced along the stream to the bend. There, tangled in the reeds, was Goldie. Benny carefully pulled the carrot from the water, shaking off the droplets. Goldie was safe. Benny hugged his carrot tightly, feeling a wave of relief and joy. He turned to see his friends gathered around him, each having played a part in finding Goldie. Benny realized that he might have lost Goldie forever if not for their help. With Goldie and Paw, Benny made his way to the fair. He proudly presented his carrot, explaining the adventure of its disappearance and how his friends helped him recover it. The judges were impressed not only by Goldie's size and color, but also by the story of friendship and teamwork. 
Goldie won the blue ribbon, and Benny shared the celebration with all his friends. Sonny was ashamed of what he had done and was too embarrassed to face anyone and left the celebration. From that day on, Benny took extra care to ensure his garden was secure, and he always remembered to appreciate the friends who helped him in times of need.